Hi guys, welcome to another video. In this video I will be reviewing the Cold Steel Man at Arms European Spear. I will review it by following these six points. Overview, specifications, materials, form and finish, purpose and performance and a final conclusion. Ever since I have seen the movie 300 I wanted a European Spear like this one. This particular spear is made in India and came with this ash wood handle. I paid about 120 euros for the spear and the handle. I did have to wait a year to get this spear because of low stocks. For comparison I will refer to uh, the winged spear that I reviewed last week. You can see the review on my channel. As you can see the spear is very long. Its overall length is 84.5 inches. The maximum width of the spearhead is 2.5 inches, right here. The length of the spearhead itself is 20.5 inches. The weight of the spearhead only is 22 ounces or 620 grams. The spearhead is made out of 1055 carbon steel that is finely blued. You have to keep this bluing clean and oiled to prevent rusting. The handle is made out of ashwood that is finely dyed to make it look darker. The form of the handle is very basic. They didn't do anything fancy to it and that is fine. It makes it easily replaceable for if it might break. A downside is that the handle didn't fit the socket very well. I had to make a better fit using tape. The handle looks to be dyed to make it look darker. When handling the spear my hands color brown because of this dye. The spearhead looks very good and historically accurate in my eyes even though I didn't really do research on the history of the European spear. The lines are very straight and the spear looks very sleek and fast even though it is made very sturdy. The edge of the spear is, contrary to the winged spear, very well done. It isn't very sharp but then again for its purpose it doesn't really need to be. The spearhead did came with some damage on the bluing, but that doesn't really bother me. I think this is from testing, but it, because it also came with a test certificate. The inside of the socket was a little dirty, just as with the winged spear. This spear looks great as a wall hanger, but it also can be used. As Cold Steel says it, this spear is made for the battlefield and for hunting. More specifically that means thrusting and throwing. I will go over these points separately. I will not get too detailed about the thrusting. Looking at the shape of this spear you can immediately tell this spear is very good at thrusting. I am not trained in throwing spears and still I could throw the spear pretty decent. This spear's overall length makes it very stable in flight. After a bit of practice I was comfortable with a throw from about 30 feet. Practicing will of course increase that range. Missing the target and hitting the ground wasn't really an issue for this spear. The spear took it very well apart from a few scratches. This was by far the best throw of the day. The flight was very straight and the spear hit right in the middle of the target. But as the spear hit its mark, the sound was different from other throws and I knew what had happened. The spear had penetrated the archery target completely and hit the iron tube that supported the target. It still had enough energy to make a significant hole in the iron tube. As for the point itself, it barely took any damage. My conclusion is that, apart from some complaints about the finish, this is a very good product for its price. It does its job and would be great for the battlefield and hunting. It also looks great as a wall hanger. 
I rate the spear an 8 out of 10. As always, thank you for watching. If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you later.